Hi, this week I'm going to talk about visual hallucinations. I typically get visual hallucinations and rarely get audible hallucinations. Uh, the audible hallucinations I do get occur just before sleep and are called hypnagogic hallucinations. Um, most people think that visual hallucinations are hallucinations implanted into reality like seeing an elephant in a room. Uh, but those type of hallucinations are very rare. I've only had one of those type and that I can remember. And I was driving my car through a cemetery at the time and there was a fenced off protected forest next to the cemetery and behind that fence was a chubby woman driving a Cushman style golf car. And uh, through the woods there and we stared at each other for a while and because she stared so long I thought to myself well this must be some type of ghost and um, I drove off and then I changed my mind I, I backed up and I looked behind the fence and all I could see was the wheel of the go golf cart spinning um, and the woman was gone so I said oh it's definitely a ghost and that was before I was on medication or anything like that. Um, that's the only type of hallucination that was that took place in reality that I that I ever had. And those types of hallucinations are are pretty rare. Uh, most hallucinations that I get, and I'm sure this is true for most people can be pictured as happening on a 4 by 6 inch piece of photo paper mounted about 5 inches away from your forehead and it's a moving picture that takes you away from reality and lasts about 3 to 5 seconds. A typical hallucination for me would be a man in a jail cell or a little girl playing and I get delusional about the hallucinations that I saw and I think I, I helped arrest that man or this my friend from nursery school is trying to contact me over the internet. Some people think that the God or the devil is giving them visions, but I was never a religious person, so I never thought anything like that. Um, since taking medication, my visual hallucinations have still occur, but I don't get delusional about them anymore. And um, I'm able to largely ignore my visual hallucinations, but I still get them from time to time. But um, I can, I'm pretty lucky, I can function pretty well and, and still get very few visual hallucinations and just the auditory hallucinations before I get, go to sleep sometimes. Um, I hope this week's blog has cleared up some misconceptions about visual hallucinations. And next week, I'm going to talk about recovery. Thanks.